So now that we've created the item type, it's time to create the actual item. The item can be created within the item manager and that's accessed through the tools menu like all the other managers. The first thing that the item asks for, or the item manager asks for, is the name of the item. And we're going to be creating an assault rifle, so I'm going to name it assault rifle. Item type then asks what item type I want to use, and we're going to use the same item type that we created in the last video. And then it asks which character I want to use. I can leave this field blank, and if I leave it blank, then a prefab will be created, and that will allow for runtime pickups. Because I want to show adding this it to the character right now, I'm going to specify the Nolan character, and I'm going to enable Add to Default Loadout. It then asks for the item ID, and this item ID is used by the animator so that the animator knows which item is currently equipped and being used. Because we've already created the assault rifle animations, we have an item ID already, and you can find that item ID by going to the item layer and then click on the item type or the item that you're creating. I'm creating an assault rifle, so I'm going to go into that substate and I click on this first transition and you'll notice that this slot zero item ID parameter has a value of one. This value of one is the item ID that we want to use. Explaining this parameter a little bit is that this slot zero specifies which slot within the character the item is equipped. Slot zero corresponds to the right hand, slot one corresponds to the left hand, and that will allow for dual wielding. You can actually have any an infinite number of slots on your character, but this animator has been configured with two slots. So now that we know the animator ID is one, we we want to specify it right here. Alright, so now we're going to skip this first person setup since we're only creating a third person item. And it asks which model file. And I'm going to grab the assault rifle model. Uh, if you were creating the fist or a, and a kicking or a body where basically there isn't a specific model file, you would leave this blank and just specify an empty game object. It then will ask for the hand, and the hand is basically which hand you want to place the item in. We want the assault rifle to be placed in the character's right hand, which the right hand, like I said earlier, corresponds to slot zero. The animator controller then allows you to add an animator controller to the actual item. And this is extremely useful for the shootable weapons so that you can play like the the trigger pulling back when you're firing the assault rifle. So I specified the assault rifle animator controller and the next thing that it asks for is the action type. The action type specifies what action the item can perform. Since we want this item to be able to shoot, we're going to specify shootable weapon. You can also specify, for example, melee weapon or the grenade, and multiple actions can be added to a single item. Consumable item type allows you to specify which item type the action should consume, and since we're going to be firing bullets, we're going to specify this My Assault Rifle Bullet item type that we created in the last video. We're going to skip, skip state configuration right now, but this basically allows you to create profiles for, for items so that if, for example, you wanted to have a shotgun profile, you could already have all the parameters automatically set up and applied to your specific item. But we're going to skip that right now because we wanted to start with a completely fresh item. Let's go ahead and hit build item. And if we go look at the character, we'll see that the character now has an assault rifle in his hand. And under this assault rifle game object, or under the item game object, we can see that there's a new assault rifle game object. This assault rifle is basically where all the different configuration options for the item lives. This assault rifle game object here is not this actual model file. The model file is deep down within this character hierarchy, and it doesn't really have many parameters at all in comparison. It's this isn't where you configure the item. You configure the item under the item's game object. When I hit play, hopefully the character will start aiming, or will have the item. He's not going to aim yet. And we can see that, yes, he does have the item, but it's 
positioned incorrectly. In order to position the item, there's a couple of tricks to doing this. The first thing that I want to do is, first of all, I want to get that out of the way, is I want to go to my IK component so that I can look to see where the character is looking and kind of draw a reference line. So under this debug draw look array, if I enable it, you'll see a green line that is pointing in the direction that the camera is pointing in. And it basically is the direction that the character should look or the item should aim at. The next thing that I want to do is enable always aim and that will allow me to easily kind of line up the item. So let's go to the aim item ability and change the start type to automatic so the character will always aim. And now you'll see that he's in this always aiming position and it has a green line. So now what we need to do is to actually kind of change this transform position to be in the correct rotation and the correct position so that it looks like the character is actually aiming. And I do that by just using the Unity tools to actually move the item. Now I'm going to actually cheat a little bit because this process can be tedious if you're, you're trying to get precise values. So I'm going to use the values that we have in the demo scene and I'm just going to copy those over and you'll be able to see in this scene view that the assault rifle is slowly getting into a better position and uh, after I change this y-axis it makes a pretty big difference yeah so so now when I hit play You'll see that the item is aiming correctly and I can go ahead and fire. So now I've, I've created the assault rifle and I've positioned the assault rifle item.